Well, hello there, guys. Agrippa Maxenius here, and we're taking a look today at Ancestor's Legacy. I have to say, I was really pleasantly surprised with this game. I really am having fun with it, um, and I hope that it turns into something quite fun. Now, this is an RTS, and I am by no means a pro. So if what you're looking at or looking for is pro play, go elsewhere. Otherwise, let's learn together. I'm going to go ahead and go into a quick match. Um, basically, you get to choose between the Vikings, the Slavs, the Anglo-Saxons, and the Germans. And I think I'm probably going to go with the Anglo-Saxons for now. I don't really care about the game type. Anyway, next time, you'll see me in-game. Let's do this. Okay, here we go, guys. So, the first thing I've kind of learned about the game, and again, there's a lot left to learn, is we need to start off by building houses. Basically, you've got your town center here, and you go ahead and you can get it's some there. houses up and running um, right away. Now, another thing you want to do, of course, is get a well. This will allow us to basically extinguish fires, but I think more importantly right now, what I'm looking to get is actually some barracks. Um, but I think to do that, I need to get a well anyway. So I'm going to get the well, hoping that I'm doing the right thing here. I'm probably not. Like I said, I'm a total newbie here, um, and I'm learning just little by little. If you guys look at the map on the, well, on the lower left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see a bunch of settlements. And what we want to do is we want to capture those settlements um, and make them a part of ours. It looks here, and I might be wrong, but maybe the Brits don't actually use um, barracks. I'm certainly not seeing any right here. Jump over here. Come on now. Oh, there's definitely barracks. We need wood. So at this point, we need to jump into our resource panel. We need to order our people to fetch wood specifically. And so far, we're going to have to just wait for that wood to become available because we haven't captured any sort of settlement or house. Apparently, we can go ahead and get some archers now. I was kind of hoping to go first for um, something else, but I'll take it. Now, another really cool thing is the day-night cycle in the game, amongst other things. Um, the day-night cycle is just really cool. The burning that you see, the bodies on the ground, it's just a bloodbath, but one that you can really enjoy. And I can't wait to get into a fight here. It looks like one of my allies is already capturing this area right here, you can see. Um, and what he's going to do, he's going to burn down that town center, and then he's going to be able to get the resources uh, from this area. Of course, you still have to hold the town, which is important. So let's go ahead. What do we need here? We need more wood. Come on, boys. Let's get that wood up and going. All right, so we know we're gaining wood. That's that plus 50 right there. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send out my slingers and help my ally capture this area while I'm waiting for some more wood. What I really want to get, though, are some actual warriors. But that might take a little longer now that I've decided to play as the Anglo-Saxons. Um, we'll get some more slingers right there. Let's go for it, guys. As you can see, they're going to start building things up. And I'm just going to basically help my ally with some missile Slingers. defense uh, damage, basically. So let's do that. And we also want to try to capture as many areas as we can as quickly as we can. So I'm going to go over here and team up with him. And he might be like, what the hell is this noob doing? But you know what? He'll get used to it eventually. I'll send these guys out as well. Now, when I was playing with the Vikings, I really liked them because they were, like, mainly melee troops. And I'm just... I'm kind of a melee guy. I think for any of you guys that have watched my channel, you know that to be the case. Um, it's just a, something I prefer. I like to really get into the into the fray. And right now what we're actually waiting for is we're waiting to go ahead and rank up to the next age, the next tier as it were. Um, and that's going to take us some that's going to take some work for sure. Range. Right, where are the rest of our slingers? That's right. They're on the way. Fair enough. Thanks. We know the enemy's over here and actually our allies are already fighting them. I'm not sure though if I want to go and assist. It's a tough call. Um, first of all, let's jump back. Definitely going to have to learn hotkeys here. Go ahead, and we're basically moving our technology level slingers. up. We'll move our ling our lingers, our move slingers, our which are lingering down here to hit the enemy. Um, obviously, there's all sorts of upgrades, like armor, things like that. In this case, we get royal armor. If you're Norse, uh, of course, it's called Norse armor. But I'm going to go ahead and head over here where the U.S. Air Force guy is, and hopefully we can help take this next town. All right, he's got the defensive circle. Now, at night, we can actually use some torches, which allow us to see farther, but it also gives the enemy a better vantage point. You can see he kind of waited for me there, uh, hoping that I could provide some help, and I sure as hell am going to provide some help. Another cool thing is there are traps. Actually, one of our guys stepped on a trap, um, and that's definitely a problem. Or one of, one of my allies stepped on a trap, I should say. So I'm help trying to help him, and there is some friendly fire there. Take your aim. Oh boy, we may have made a mistake. I'm gonna still try to do as much damage as I can here. The enemy is not in the best shape. 
Get him. Swing it! Come on, boys. Now, I should be focusing, honestly, on the base right now. I'm going to get some experience uh, for hitting these guys. But obviously, our real goal is to take this town from the enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can burn it down. You can see all of the civilians running around in panic as we try to take this place. We might fail, but we're going to try. Retreat. Now, this is why a lot of people say this is a lot like Company of Heroes, sort of like a medieval Company of Heroes, because it's got that retreat option. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the barracks up and going. We can start working on that, and hopefully we can start getting what we really need, uh, which is going to be, of course, the melee warriors. Now this area is under our control, but there's still food over Go! here that we can take over, and that's going to be very important. So I'm going to try to take the farm. We can even upgrade our armor right now, but I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest with you. There's also medical tents. Uh, there's ways to replenish, um, you know, different things. Wait, where's that food? Get the food, boys! We got the barracks up. Still wondering how the hell to capture that damn food. Maybe we need to go here to see, and we actually need to send guys out. Yes, that's what I think we need to do for food and wood. And they should hopefully go and capture that area. Defense, Jen Jen is saying, because there's a lot going on over here. I'm going to go ahead and get to my barracks and see if we can't maybe get some better troops out here. So we can get some spear guards, some shieldmen. I'm going to go for the Spear Guards, and eventually I'm going to upgrade them. But another thing we need is we need more houses. That's going to take some time to get. So for now, let's just hope. Yup, look at that. Our citizens are on the way to gather some more food, which we don't really need that badly. Um, but, hey, it's always good to take food from the enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I am going to hopefully start helping um, my allies here. So I'm going to rush right to the center. I think we're playing um, Annihilation here. because I don't see any sort of uh, countdown for points, which you usually see uh, in this game. Also, can't get over the bodies. Some of these bodies actually start moving around, crawling around, like they're begging for their lives. It's just really cool. Um, so he's asking me to defend, so maybe staying at that point is best. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to stay at that point. I think they've got that under control. Let's go see if our shield bearers are ready to go. Oh, man, they look pretty awesome. Get that house going. Come on, boys. There go our happy Anglo-Saxon peasants. And let's take a look and see what our allies are doing here. So they're trying to take these areas. And they've got the defensive circle fighting off the enemy here. Pretty good start so far. But if we're going to be going for complete destruction, it's going to be a lot more work that needs to be done. I prefer the countdown sort of checkpoint thing, which is much more similar to, like, Company of Heroes. Uh, let me also get some shield men here. What I really should be doing, though, and it's a new move, I should have actually gone ahead and just upgraded the current unit. But I really want those shield men. So let's grab them. Stand and you know what? Lads. We're going to go ahead and move forward. Move. Let's do it. We might as well help our allies. But at the same time, we risk, you know, possibly losing um, that village, which is not going to be good at all. Burn I'm not sure what down. the hell that tower is doing there, but I don't like it. So we're going to get rid of it. We got those shield men up. Let's grab both of these guys and send them to the village. And I'm going to try to upgrade my shieldmen to give that veterancy bonus. They also get cooler looking armor, shields, etc. So things definitely change. All right, we've taken the belfry. Move. Now I'm going to go over here. Attack them! Let's go, boys. Come on now. We'll help you, I promise. Stay there, sons. Shield me. We're blessed by God. We're blessed by God indeed. Right now, it looks like we're winning, but I can't say for certain. Once we get behind the enemy here, though, we're going to be able to deliver some pretty lethal blows. But just like Company of Heroes, at any point, you could retreat with your men. You could go ahead and try to upgrade them, etc. And I think that's just a really cool addition to the game. Um, you know, if you look, if it looks like you're losing, get the hell out of there. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. Attack them! We've already spotted some enemies. Holy crap. Uh, they're actually at our base at this point. I'm going to bring over these guys, too. I was spotted the enemy squad. Definitely want to go ahead and try to do as much damage as possible. I'm going to try to help our allies. Let's do it, boys. Believe me, if you think that a, a rock being thrown from a sling can't do serious damage, you've got no idea. Looks like the enemy's going to go ahead and charge us, or they might be trying to actually run away. Hey, perfect, man. That's even easier for us. So there we go. Enemy's running away. 
but there's still a lot of enemies over, over here, here inside the town. Let's go ahead Attack! and keep on helping our friends. I'm arriving over here with my other Infantry. units. These ones are actually melee units. And I'm going to try to get into the town, but I want to make sure I'm still building stuff. There's a lot of things you have to think of while you're doing this. You know, you can't just be focusing on only one thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and get another house up. Oh, boy. Yeah, our slingers are in trouble for sure. Not giving up. All right, here we go. Got some warriors on the way. And hopefully they can make a difference. So I might go straight for the town hall to pull them away here. Still getting some XP, but I think I'm actually going to go for the flank attack. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Charge! Alright, we're attacking. We're flanking from behind. Get him! Oh, I love that. Looks like we managed to pretty much capture this settlement. We can also upgrade um, the towns we've taken, too. So with some defensive towers, things like that. Um, right now, I think the goal should be to retake the town. I think that's exactly what my ally is doing. So I'm going to just hang out here on this land bridge. Go! Not really a land bridge, but this, this slope, I guess you could call it. Um, and I'm going to see if there's anything that I can do here to help the people. Better defense. Yep, we're going to get it. Let's do it, man. And again, I'm not playing as quickly as a pro player would. I'm definitely taking my time. Could also get a church. And that would unlock temporary buffs for our nation. But I'm not too concerned about that. I want to get some more fighters. Let's do that. And we'll worry about everything else later. If you look at all of our um, resources here, things are going pretty well. If you start getting to a point where you start losing resources and you're making less resources than you have, then your men will actually start to lose morale and they will run for battle really, know, really, really, really fast. Uh, did I say really already? Yeah, really fast. So that guy's already taken that area. I'm going to go down to E, guys. I think we need to push the fight or bring the fight to the enemy. Our guy is saying defend, but I think in this situation, defending might not be the best idea. I believe he's also playing with the slobs. Um, we are, of course, playing with the Anglo-Saxons. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Enemies already attacking. Voda. It's like a Russian Yoda, I think. Bad joke. Yeah, no, no, no shit. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, no wonder the guy's saying defend because this area is currently under attack by the enemy and it's making... It's not going to help anybody except for the enemy. So I'm going to send these guys in and I'm also sending these guys up. I'm hoping that the better defense there is going to do us some wonders. Come on, boys. We've got this one. Our ally's not sending peasants out yet. I think he will eventually, but it's taken him a little while. Actually, we should keep our archers back. We should keep our archers right here and move these guys forward. And I think our ally has the same idea. Let's do it. Oh, man. Hell yeah. They're on the way already. I mean, there's so many things I like about the game so far, but I think for sure, like, even just the bodies on the ground, they stay there, okay? They don't leave. Those bodies stay there for quite a while. And it looks like our men are definitely engaged in a fight here. Come on, boys. We can also raise shields. There's all sorts of different formations we can decide to take. We can upgrade our armor even with some royal armor, which I think is what I'm going to do with these guys. So I'm keeping them back for now while our guys work on the enemy here. There's a lot of enemies here, I have to say. Let's go. You can also see the look of the guys has changed too. They look a lot more like proper warriors, proper knights. And I'm hoping that against these Vikings, we can get rid of them pretty quickly. Come on, boys. Get out of here. This is our land. Listen. This way. Take your aim. All right, let's go straight for the enemy base. Burn it to the ground. Should have taken it already. And look, the enemy is also grabbing our guys over there. So we've got to keep on working at this, man. I'm going to go up to technology, technology tier three. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and build another house because we're going to need as many men as we could get. Um, you know as possible. Infantry. There we go. I think this might be U.S. Air Force's capture because it's green, but I could be wrong. Yeah, that's going to be his. Okay. Our village is being attacked. It's time to go back. Now, I was hoping I bought those better defenses. I was hoping for some serious defense, but I'm not seeing too much right now. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of our special buffs here. 
uh, the healing chance. So this is going to be able to give a little boost to healing. And I think before I attack, I'm going to actually wait uh, for some more of my men to arrive. Go ahead and get some more. Come on, guys. Oh, we got some Huskarls. Good old Huskarl. Definitely want to grab one of those. Then we'll boost our Huskarls as well after we grab them. It's going to take a while for that to work. So in the meantime, we're going to assist in retaking this area. Obviously, guys, if you like this gameplay so far and you want to see more of it, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. So far, um, this is a, an open beta, I believe, um, that allows people to join, but I'm not sure if the game itself is going to be free. I believe it's going to be like 44-something. Um, I might need to shell out some cash and take a chance because I really enjoy it, um, and I think there's a chance here for something that could really, really raise uh, the, the level of, of viewers here on the channel, to be honest with you. It's just a guess, but I get a good feeling about this one. All right, our men are in there, especially these guys doing an excellent job, the shieldmen. There we go, get out of here. And now it's even raining, so there's even weather, man. That is so cool. You see the enemy is actually setting a trap um, right there. And I should have actually set some traps myself near the front of the town. But like I said, I'm a noob. I'm still learning. Um, there's a lot I still need to learn about the game. This guy's got to send out those, uh, desperately has to send out those peasants to, to capture these areas. So these Huskarls should be very useful. Look at all those dead. I think I'm going to go for the next point. Oh, wait a minute. You got enemies already? Let's go for it, boys. Oh boy, there's a lot of them here. Alright, some of these guys have to get the hell out. I'm going to try to retreat with some of them. Shieldmen should stay back and keep fighting. So, as you can see here, we've also got some more guys. We're going to have them retreat too, and we can rebuild them, or sort of uh, build them up again. Yeah, rebuild. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Um, and I'm also going to try to get some better um, equipment here for our host Garls. Uh, hopefully they can get here quickly because I think that my ally's in trouble. These guys I'm going to run as well. I mean, I've just played too much Company of Heroes to just stick around. At the same time, with just a little more pressure, we could probably break these Vikings. That's why I really want these host Garls to arrive and quickly. Come on, host Garls. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. My goodness. All right, let's go for it. Just hang in there, hang in there, man. Charge! I think you guys know what they're doing, but right now my ally is also running. I don't like that, man. That's not a good sign. Warrior died. Let's get out of here. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Go, go, go. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely very similar in that sense. Um, I'm going to get these guys back to retreat. Very similar um, to um, Company Fierce 2. All right, we got those Huskarls. At this point, we're just going to get our guys together and charge with a mighty horde. I'm also going to get the church going so we can get some buffs and maybe another house as well. Although now, my resources are looking a little worse for wear. Stand ready! We've got to be back at one of our own buildings to uh, improve our men, essentially. So I'm going to get them back to our main town here. Um, and we should be able to get a mighty host. In the meantime, I'll do what I can to improve what we already have. Alright, we got the church up. What can we do here? Recruitment time and cost reduced. That's pretty cool. Increased melee and range defense for all units. All resource income increased. I mean, it's all pretty good. I'm going to go for the increased melee um, damage here. And defense. But more importantly, we need to get our guys here um, and start building some, even some more men. Let's get some more Huskarls. We 
fight for the king. And now we're going to press this button. And that should bring some more men to our cause. So far, our team has all this. I think with one more good push, we very well may be able um, to win this battle. I'm also going to try to give better shields, better armor to the units that don't have it. But that also costs resources. Let's go ahead. We'll get some royal armor we level 2. Royal armor level 2 here. Make sure that everybody is refreshing. And I think they are. Man, look at that. That is a mighty host. Come on, you dogs of war. Stand ready. That way. So the enemy is attacking here. Oh boy, the U.S. Army guy is not paying attention. Excuse me, U.S. Air Force. All the airmen are going to want to kill me for that one. <laughs> uh, okay. Infantry. I think this is good enough. Let's go. Follow me. Yes, let's go. Time for destruction. We could get even more squads. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to get some, We've gained some archery experience. or just regular arrow squads. Yeah, we'll get some some more um, missile units at this point. Stand ready. Spears on me. Wait, wait. Don't Ooh. be so quick to charge into battle. Moving out. And, of course, we're trying to get as much royal armor as we can. Looks like our ally is doing a good job at holding the enemy off. Now we have a negative income, guys. This is what I was telling you about. We've got to take back that town um, and get some food, or else eventually our men are going to totally lose faith, um, and their morale is just going to be terrible. So I'm going straight for that town. And at the very least, if we lose some of our men, we won't have to feed as many. I know it sounds mean, but it's sort of a bonus. Uh, right now, doing nothing is the worst thing we can possibly do. So I already see some enemies over here. I think they're getting ready to head into battle. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go for them. If not, I'll go for the town. Over there. Oh, look at that. They've got some archers up there. Sneaky little bastards, aren't they? Come on. Get him. Get him. We need to send someone after uh, those guys on top of the hill, the archers. I'm going to see if we can get the shield bearers up there. Get him up there, get him up there, get him, boys. For the Lord. We're getting some pretty good shots. Some of these guys are going to have to run. Oh, man, there's a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. And we're doing pretty well against the archers, but not so well against the enemy troops. Well, actually, not horribly either, but we are going to have to retreat. And these guys that are especially experienced are doing pretty well. That's not going to win us the battle. We fight for the king. Nice. All right, let's charge. Let's charge. No, I want to get rid of the archers. I'm not leaving yet. Our guys are nicely leveled up. So many bodies on the ground here. But I'm going to grab the rest of these boys and send them back to the square. All right. One of the enemies running away. It's definitely a battle of will here. Neither of us is willing to surrender. And I really need some, uh, some support from my ally. Looks like he may have gone AFK, though, which would be really unfortunate. All right, run. You gotta accept it. When you lose, you lose. Get off the battlefield and come back later. All right, we're sending them back home, of course. And as you can see, the food is back up, and that's just because we don't have as many men to feed. It's really that simple. Um, otherwise, we'd, do, we'd be doing pretty poorly. So it looks like U.S. Air Force is actually going for this area here. I can see what he's going for, trying to kind of get behind the enemy and flank them, but the enemy's got the same idea with us. That being said, our other allies seem to know what they're doing. 
go up here. See if there's any more upgrades we can do. All right, these guys desperately need some reinforcements, so we're going to replenish. Get a house up. Blacksmith as well would be pretty cool to allow, allow us to create siege machines. But I'm not so sure I want to do that right, right away. It looks like our allies are going to be beaten back here. It's all about speed now. Some more armor there as well. And we can choose unit specialization. And this is because um, this unit has gained a level in combat. So we can actually boost his specialization, which I gotta say is pretty awesome. Spears up. Come on, boys. Spearmen, casualties replaced. Oscars reassemble. Some more Huskarls. reassemble. All right, so when you hear that reassembled, it's basically letting us know, well, they're reassembled. <laughs> In other words, um, you know, they've got their weapons back, they've got their, their men replenished, and they're ready for some more fighting. So at this point, I'm definitely going to give as much royal armor as I can to whoever I can give it to. Before we head out on another raid. Okay, forgot about those slingers, we've got them too. We could boost the Slingers with Celtic Tradition, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's go. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these guys right over here on the other side of the bridge. I'm not necessarily going to attack yet. I'm just going to get a nice group going, and then we'll decide. Look at that, man. That is awesome. Probably go ahead and afford another unit, but maybe not. We can see we're losing, uh, we're losing that food again. Okay, I can already see um, some enemy control over here. I don't know if we can get into this area besides going the usual route. Slingers! Some more royal armor. I think I'm going to let this the way. enemy take the initiative. If not, I might just hide our guys in these in these wooded areas here, or I might go for the bottom base because I don't think they're ex they're expecting us to go for that bottom base. Then again, look at that. Enemies are already going for one of our bases here. So I might be helping our friends out, or try to help our friends out. It's a lot of enemies, man. Move your horses! Move your horses! I love that. Come on, boys. Move, Zhenjin says. Yes, I agree. This is a chance for us to finish them off. I'm going to try to flank them. I think Zhenjin is actually going to be able to uh, do some serious damage here. Of course, this is a really good opportunity to waste um, some enemies. Come on, boys. Over here. Take there the we go. Oh, they're trapped now. Where are you going so quickly? Come back. I'm going to say hello. Let's go. Leave them standing. All right, I think the enemy got the message. Move Not indeed. Hard. I just wish that our ally would actually um, start, you know, sending those villagers out, but I'm sure he's more focused on just destroying the enemy as quickly as possible here. Let's make sure go. our guys are together. Maintain range. And now we're sticking together. This should work, man. If it doesn't, I'm just about out of ideas. U.S. Air Force is going for the south, and so am I. There is an enemy squad noticed, but I'm hoping that our ally can watch that and keep them down, and I think he's going to do a fine job. Move! Move! Let's go. 
see our allies got the same idea we do. And that's going for this, uh, this bottom area. It's exactly what needs to be done here. Come on. Come on. Charge. Going straight for their uh, hovels. Oh, okay. They want to go for a fight. You know what? I'll take a fight. Go for it. I probably shouldn't group my guys all together. I should probably keep a few of them back. But they are fighting for their lives, the enemies here. They know that they don't have much of a choice or much of a chance. Here we go. Oh, guys, we're taking it slowly but surely. It's ours. And I'm going to do what my ally didn't do. Go ahead and start building stuff. Get some better defenses. Come on, and now we can go for the next area, the next town. Make camp. We're actually going to build a medical tent, and from what I understand, this will actually like resurrect some of your units um, that are like wounded. You see those like plus symbols, those guys on the floor that were dead before? They're going to be getting back on up pretty feet. soon, man. That is a really cool ability. And we didn't get everybody back, but we did pretty well. And I could see this that way. he is desperate to get some more kills here. Let's go for it. Let's hide over there. Get Take him. them out. And our guys are starting to look amazing at this point. You can see the armor here for the shield bear or the huskarls. It's just looking really cool, man, I must say. Come on. Ooh. Don't worry, reinforcements are on the way, my friend. Sending in the Huskarls. Leave them! Leave them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. those axes. Over there. Okay, trap activated. Stand you right see those right. spiky traps? Kind of looks like something out of Star Wars uh, when Luke gets thrown in that Scar. massive pit. Um, that's very action. dangerous, and obviously that can basically be an endgame uh, situation for us. I'm doing everything I can here to... Not only deactivate those traps, but to take this area quickly. Oh boy. I'm just I'm just loving it, I have to say. So it looks like the enemy is trying to get up this hill. But let's try to take this area first. And then we'll go right back down. And deal with them. Charge! Pop up the medical camps first. And with the rest of our men, we're gonna charge. We really need our ally to be helping us here. And we need his flanking ability. Slaughter them, boys. Ooh, it looks like the enemy is the one attacking right now. units that don't have the best um, health right now, and I'm hoping that they can get away and, uh, and obviously replenish themselves. Oh boy, see we just lost some units. Don't give up, don't run. We've got this. For the king. I'm not giving up, but we are being flanked. All right, these guys have to get out of here. Get out of here. Go, go, go. There's no other fight for us to do here. We have to go. We've got to save as many men as possible. It sucks, but it has to be done. And it looks like U.S. Air Force arrived, but not quite in time. And that is just a hill of bones. That's what we're going to call this one, the hill of bones. Come on, guys. Everyone back to base. Go, go, go. Two arms. Move back, move back. Two arms. Men. Move back. I like to think we cause a lot of damage to the enemy there. Um, 
but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, if the hill is anything, has anything to say about it, we seriously, seriously damage them. But they're still managing to take these areas. Man, it's just like an endless back and forth. Grab your weapons. Let's go. Come on, boys. I think we can actually just be over here and still we get that for boost or that bonus. I could be wrong. Right now, in fact, we should be looking for boosts, but I think we've gotten just about all of them. Get some more Huskarls. And there we go. Replenish, boys, and replenish quickly. Got his defensive circle off. Join the fight, boys. Line it up, man. Some armor. Line it up, man. Give them some better armor. Infantry. Specialization. We're gonna go for offensive. Line up. Basically, Stay anybody up. that we can specialize with, we are absolutely gonna take that specialization Oscar. bonus. We fight for the king. Armor, specs, etc. Ooh, look at this, we got some more boys over here. Okay, wow. So the US Air Force is trying to stand his ground. Hobble. But we have to attack quickly because you can see the food is a problem right now. Wow. I love in daytime you can really see the damage that's happened. Um, we could go help these guys or we could try and go for that settlement we've been trying to take for a while. I think we're actually going to help these guys. Over there. Maybe not. So actually, he's forcing the enemy to uh, to move here, but there's a reason for that. The enemy's using cavalry and doing some pretty serious damage. But if our ally can waste them uh, before they can run away, well, we're going to be doing very well. So I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not going to go help. I'm actually going to wait uh, for the U.S. Uh, Air Force guy to be prepared for an attack here himself. Infantry! Me giving orders, and I'm a total noob. Huskals, with these. So he's gonna help see. I don't think it's a good idea. gonna say it's not a good idea but I now that I'm seeing the amount of men there yeah they definitely need to help but I'm not gonna help as well I'm gonna keep our guys back while they deal with the enemy and then hopefully they'll be very ready um, to attack and take the next points Let's see how that food's going man it's going fast but we still have some time some more host girls nice
Shameless plug? Maybe. I'm actually going to put a spike trap right there. And I'm hoping that the traps can't hurt us. I don't know if they can. Uh, but at least this way, if the enemy attacks, we'll have a nice little trap ready to go. What's this? An enemy squad. Definitely don't want to go because not ready. Okay, it's beginning. Wow! Oh, they're already here. Flank attack with the Huskarls. Show no mercy. Oh, they're finished. They are finished so far, at least. Oh, we got some enemies attacking here. But I think we pretty much got them beat. I'm even going to go up ahead and put up a medical tent if I can I think we have to wait until we're out of combat before we can put up a medical tent come on give them hell man they are prepared they're kind of trying to close us in on both sides They've got a ballista over here. Oh, that ballista is deadly. First thing I'm going to try to do with those Huskarls is break through these guys and go straight for the ballista. More enemies, man. <laughs> it doesn't end. Just gonna go with massive attack power here. Go for the archers. I do believe they are giving up. They won't see us then. Oscar. Alright guys, this is Light really it. it. Out. Leave nothing These people have like it. had so many different rulers at this point. They must be so fed up. Like who's our leader at this point, really? Alright, give them some armor. We fight for the king. And I think we might be able to actually reinforce these guys right here. That would be massive. If Let's we can start. do that, we can finish them off. Cut yourselves. Get ready. Spears on me. Get some rest. Get some rest, boys. Come on. Symbol. We fight for the king. Go for it. Oh man, this is going to be epic. I'm actually going to go ahead and put our torches on. Oh, the enemy will know we are coming. Just imagine seeing that from like quite a ways away, you know, mile away or, uh, you know, kilometer away, whatever. You see that off in the distance, just torches. Oh man, that must be terrifying. I don't know if those of you have seen the movie The 13th Warrior. 
not necessarily the greatest film in the world. I, I liked it a lot. And actually, it is based on Viking lore with a little bit of Hollywood nonsense involved. Um, but there's a scene with those torches like that, and that's what this reminds me of. Come on, you dogs. Uh, other allies still having to deal with um, the enemy. It really sucks. Boom. Get that attack power, though, man. Go. We're gonna retreat. Come on. That way. Still got that enemy squad over there. That's so frustrating. Oh, and we just activated a trap. That's going to hurt. I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, let these guys heal a bit. On your feet. They've, they've set up a Run lot of traps down. here. My leg. <laughs> yeah, it ain't easy. Oh, man, they're taking D now. Come on, man. Please also have some food, which we need. So I'm going to go ahead and get one of the peasants to get the food going. So try to get some defenses going here, and we will try and reinforce. Huskarls, casualties replaced. Back yourselves. On your feet! Okay. We're going straight for their base now, guys. We're ignoring the towns at this point. This is just a straightforward base kill, base attack, or whatever you want to call it. I think the enemy's going to try to retake this town. We have to try not to be... Um, Confused though by the fact that they're attacking, like we have to focus elsewhere. Already have spotted some of their archers. Let's go straight back to their base, or else this battle will just never end. I think. To the base. Moving out. Oh man, this is awesome. This is really, really cool. I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to take them or else we're gonna lose a bunch of men. And actually these guys, for instance, they should not have been joining us. Oh boy. Hurry! Come on, come on. Oh, this is a ch one chance in a lifetime, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the shooting tower first. Burn her down. Oh, yes. Get the barracks. This is exactly what we needed to do, guys. We are now in their home base. At least one of these guys, and taking out one of their barracks, I think, is going to help big time uh, in the eventual, hopeful, victory here. Come on, come on. They're sending everybody they can. Take no prisoners, boys. Tear down 
this building. Let's go for it. We're going straight for the town hall. Enough of this. Single unit here for Scarls. Just to attack their cavalry. Which, of course, is probably a lot more useful, um, not for the Huskarls, but for the Spearmen. But, you know what? Whatever works, man. Burn down their place of cult. And the place of cult is for the Vikings. You can see here, look at that. Um, they're actually attacking us. Pretty funny. There we go. Venge lost. Leave nothing but ashes. Moving out! Burn it to the ground! We're going to make absolutely sure we've destroyed that base, and I think we have. Um, so now we're going to send these guys back. Get that and medical tent up. Maybe we can still save a few of the boys that have fallen during this battle. Get some rest, men. Get you ready. need it. Go for that uh, city, and then we'll go for the final base. <laughs> Ally over here is in a lot of trouble. So what he's saying is he wants me to go ahead and build um, this stuff, which totally makes sense, totally understandable. Over there. We'll go for E. I think I might actually run straight for the enemy base and try to take him out while he's attacking our other ally there. Moving out. There should be three enemies. Whoa, what just happened there? Did you guys see that? <laughs> Definitely still in beta. Definitely still in beta. Prepare an ambush out there. <laughs> they won't see us there. Ah, uh, I see what he's saying. Moving out. Let's hide over there. And if I see an opportunity to snag this, I'm going to take it. And actually, are our villagers fighting back? Because it's fine. It's not being burned down. They might be reacting to this. And there we go. Now our boys also got some XP. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Two arms. Going for another enemy. Sorry, I had the alarm on. No wonder. Total new mistake there. BNH is lost. That's another enemy down. Follow me. Oh shit, the list us. We got this, we got this, boys. We're so close, guys. We've got one guy left, or one, I should say, not one guy, one player left. 
A lot of soldiers left. Oh, man, we got to get out of here. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Live to fight another day, as I love to say. <laughs> Hopefully live to fight another day. And again, losing, uh, just like in um, Company of Heroes 2, you know, losing a unit like that, it means a lot. Because a lot of these units have leveled up. You know, they've done a lot of work here. And we can't afford to lose them. So I'm going to send these guys back to at least one of these bases. I think this one will be good enough, hopefully. We fight for uh, the king. But I think we're going to have to probably get some more men. In fact, you can see that our, the, our amount of men has greatly diminished. So let's do that. Grab some more slingers. U.S. Air Force has got a massive force. Nice. Have faith, lads. Alright, our Huskarls are recruited, so I'm going to immediately bring them over here to the town. Same with my slingers. Listen. Got to find out how to mark an area, because that will let us know exactly where the enemy is. Line up, spearmen. Come on, boys. People of the good village, join us in our wonderful quest for glory. <laughs> They're all like, uh, we're kind of done with the fighting because you've killed, like, everybody in this region. But, um, okay, we'll do our best. On. I love when they just jump out of the town hall ready to fight. That's just really Let's cool, go. man. Look at that, guys. It looks like uh, Air Force has some knights, some mounted knights. We skipped the uh, mounted knight stage. We went straight for just basically infantry, but it just goes to show you, depending on how you're playing, you know, depending on who you're playing as, you can absolutely specialize in a number of different specializations and still get that victory. Definitely going for the offensive victory here. I'm trying to get there to him as quickly as possible. this point we can basically finish them off For the king. I think in fact our allies might finish them off before we even get there Attention! I'm hoping the they've got a lot man the the enemy has a lot of guys look at that that is amazing our boys do too and you can see that they definitely upgraded their troops quite a bit more than we have I think Leave no survivors. Oh, I love seeing those guys fall. Look at that. <laughs> the animations are great, and much like um, like certain Total War games. Now, this is not made by the Total War company or Creative Assembly. Um, you've got you know situations where there are guys like crawling around dead, but just barely, just barely, uh, almost clinging to life. That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Dead but clinging to life. Oh, the thunder, the lightning. That's going to be it, guys. I think that's going to be the GG. Here we go. Oh, yeah. The enemy's in trouble for sure. Man, it has been such a long fight. Like, it's been an hour. An hour. This may be one of my longest videos yet for just a single battle um, in any game, really. Except maybe Graviton Tactics, even, that, even then. Only for like a really, really 
long game of Graviton Tactics. So I hope you guys uh, understand and enjoy the work that went into this battle, man. It has not been easy. Slingers! Come on, boys. Attention! We got the shooting thing down. It's down now for the barracks. Give them nothing to fight back with. Burn it all. Love the burning animation. I love the weather. The, just, there's so much about the game that I'm really excited about. Except for price. Um, hopefully with uh, some nice quick streams, we can uh, we can help pay for that price. And uh, that way the Agrim Max Settings channel won't be hemorrhaging any money at all. Destroy that building! There we go, guys. That's a victory. Amazing. So much fun. I really liked it. Um, when we continue, I kind of want to see what comes up next. So we won a battle there. 100 points as the Anglo-Saxons. And I think we're going to be level 2 with the Anglo-Saxons. That's really cool, man. Little level up for Agrippa with the Anglo-Saxons. And I think maybe that's going to give us some more units to use. I'm honestly not sure. Um, I do want to see the overall here. Total military, that's so cool that you can see everything here. We're, we're at 1,079 for our military. Um, 3,022, we got the high score. We got the high score. Oh, that is so cool, man. I'm proud of myself. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below. Even if you think I suck, comment down below. Once again, I am a noob, but I think we did all right. Thanks for watching, guys, and I would definitely give a huge thumbs up to Ancestors Legacy.